Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today we're gonna be doing um, it's not like 100% of a full face, but we're gonna be trying out a bunch of new products, whether that's high end or drugstore. I've been out of town and I just had so much PR to get through, so I decided just to make a video about it and show you guys what's worth your money and what isn't. Hope that you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the lack of content. Trust me, I know. I usually upload about two videos a week and it's been really bad lately. I actually went on a family vacation and I only had one video pre-filmed that I uploaded. And then as soon as I got home from vacation, literally the day after I had to fly out to Mexico City, because unfortunately my grandfather passed away and so I was just with family. I obviously didn't have anything pre-filmed while I was there last week. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I already kind of explained that and thank you guys so much for all your kind words. I really appreciate it. My grandpa was so, 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 so loved and still is. That should just explain why I've been kind of off my game. But after this video, I'm back. I got a lot of makeup videos coming for you guys as well as more wedding series videos so watch out for that. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the makeup. Let's have some fun. I'm so excited. I have so many products to try for you guys. Um, I think we're going to start out with the eyes because I do have a brand new eyeshadow palette that we're going to test out on the eyeballs. So I'm going to quickly just, you know, prime my eyes with some concealer and set it with powder and I'll be right back and we can try it out. All right, we're primed, but really quickly before I zoomed you guys in, I did want to try this. Um, if you guys want to see my PR unboxings, follow my Instagram or my TikTok, but I did get the brand new like e.l.f. Jelly Pop um, collection. I've already tried the Jelly Pop primer, so we're not going to do that today, but I do have the Luminous Lip Mask, and I wanted to just put this on before starting out the makeup. So it contains papaya enzymes. The product's supposed to help smooth away rough texture, while watermelon extract and hyaluronic acid help leave your lips soft and smooth. It smells exactly like the Jelly Pop primer, which I love. Ooh. Whoa, it's way thicker than I thought. Mmm. This smells so good. It does have like a pretty strong watermelon smell. So if you don't like that, you might not like this, but I figured we could just try this out while we did our makeup to see how hydrating it is. But so far, it's like a really nice thickness and it smells really, really good. So for eyeshadow, I wanted to try out the brand new collaboration between Sophie and or Soph X Revolution. Sophie, Soap Dust Nails, Soap Dust Life. I love watching her and I love supporting other YouTubers. But of course, um, I will always be honest with you guys, um, you know, if I personally like a product or not. I did pick up a couple things from her collection. So first we have the mini eyeshadow palette. They did come out with a bigger eyeshadow palette, but this one kind of was calling my name a little bit more. It is a cardboard palette and it does have a magnetic closing and it does have a little bit of a mirror. Since this this is not a tutorial. I'm going to speed this part up because we do have a lot of products to try, but let's just test out this formula and see what look we want to create with it. Alrighty guys, I am back. I added just eyeliner and uh, mascara obviously and I have to say I I don't know 
I don't know if I'm surprised. Like, I am pleasantly surprised just because sometimes Wicked like, Revolution shadows are a hit and miss for me. Literally, all these shadows worked well, except the only, only, only thing, if I want to be nitpicky, this shade just wasn't as dark as I wanted it. I wanted to use it as a liner, and it was just coming off not as um, pigmented as the shade in the pan. Other than that, though, all the other shades are beautiful. The shimmer shadows, I don't even need to get them wet. Like, they're literally like so creamy i'm actually going to use the purple one as my inner corner highlight once we get the rest of the face done but i actually really do like this i love the color story because you do have your neutrals but the pink and the yellow are shades that can go really really well with these neutrals i love a good like orangey pink brown moment i'll give this a thumbs up it's really pretty it was ten dollars and if you want to support a youtuber that you like then this is a way to do it i'm going to zoom you guys a little bit out because i am going to be trying out a new primer okay so i am on the rare beauty pr list sometimes like i didn't get their setting spray or uh, their newest eyeshadow palette but they did just send me their new primer as well as the foundation and concealer i didn't have the best first impression of the foundation or concealer i did give those to a friend but now that they resent them to me i will try them out in this video because i want to use the primer with the foundation together by the way, they did send me this. It might be a little bit dark, but this is just what I have. Um, we'll make it work. Let's just talk about this really quickly. This is the brand new primer from Rare Beauty. It's called the Always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer. It is described as a cushiony gel formula that smooths away the look of pores and fine lines, boosts and extends makeup wear, and actually hydrates skin while fighting shine all day. That is a lot of claims and it's supposed to mattify and hydrate. So this is going to be $26. So let's try it out. You guys know I love a good pore diffusing primer. You know what? I just zoomed you guys out, but I should probably zoom you back in so you guys can get a real good look at these pores. All right, so that's about a pump and a half. It feels like a thicker gel but it doesn't it has a little bit of that like silicone feel but more gel like i think i'm just gonna put it all over my face <laughs> because i don't know this is actually going a really long way i definitely think you need about half of a pump to a full pump you don't need one and a half this feels really nice it feels like very like thick but in a really good way Ooh, it feels so good. It is mattifying my skin, but it's like a soft matte. You know, the way this feels, it would feel like it would leave my skin a little bit shiny, but it's not. So it definitely feels hydrating and mattifying, but like a comfortable matte. Oh my God, wait a minute. This actually covered up my pores. Oh my goodness, wait a damn minute. All right here, I know it's very hard to see through the camera, but all right here are where my pores are. And they look so filled in, so blurred, and my skin feels so, like, hydrated but matte. This is really, really nice, guys. So far, I am absolutely loving this. This is making my skin look absolutely stunning. This is one of the first times where a product is actually living up to so many claims that they put on the website. I'm currently obsessed, so that's really good. I know the foundation is not new or the concealer, so I'm gonna go through it really quickly. I'm just going to apply some foundation. When I did review it at first, I think I applied way too much, so I am gonna apply only a little bit. This is gonna be the shade 280N. They did send me their brushes though, which these have never tried. So I'm gonna quickly put on the foundation and concealer. The concealer is in the shade 260N, and then I will be right back to try out a new powder with you guys. Okay, they actually match me really, really well. Obviously it's a little bit darker than the neck, but this is actually gonna be a really good summer color for me. Again, that's 280N. I do like it better now than the first time that I tried it. The only thing is, is that it looks flawless on my skin that's flawless, but anything else, it doesn't. Like, on my nose, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it, like, is separating a lot. Obviously, I have a little bit of a sunburn and pores and blackheads, and then I also have some acne down here, and it's kind of clinging on. So, I think it looks pretty if you have, like, perfect skin, 
but I don't know if it's necessarily the foundation for problematic skin. So I'll leave it at that. Um, the concealer I'm not obsessed with. I prefer something a little bit more higher coverage, which I know that this is not what it claims to be, but I do remember that last time I tried this concealer, I liked it until I set it with powder. We don't have any powder to try, so I'm gonna put a little bit of my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer over it because I really wanna test out this powder. So this is one of those products that is more new to me rather than new to the beauty world. Um, I recently, I'm not sure if I'm in the PR list for Flower Beauty or if they just sent me things, but I decided to go ahead and buy everything else that I needed for a full face of Flower Beauty. That can be the next video if you guys are interested, but I really just wanted to try out this powder. This is their Miracle Glow Powder. I don't always love shimmery setting powders or like luminous. I do for the face I don't love it for the eyes but this is described as a satin finishing powder and I've seen a lot of hype on this when I looked it up they only have one shade I believe so this is just called the miracle glow satin finishing powder the only thing I don't love is like just the packaging this is like the bulkiest I mean you really only need this little thing and you I mean this is I just don't get I think I guess this is for like your vanity or something, but I don't love how bulky it is. I know my lights are pretty bright, but the powder has a little bit of a peachy tint. So I'm quickly going to blend out any creases that I have. And I'm gonna be using my go-to brush right now. All these brushes with the maroon handles are from BK Beauty. They're really, really nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set under my eyes. Okay, so far. So good. I don't want to bring it down too low because we do have that blush coming. Oh, wait, this is actually better than I thought. I was really worried that it would be like luminous, but it really isn't luminous. It really just is satin. So it's not, you know, shimmery or anything like that. I mean, it looks fine. Some people were like super wowed by it. It just looks, it looks fine. It looks a little bit drying if I'm being honest. So we'll see how this wears. Um, I like it, I'm just not like super impressed like most people are, but I guess it's not super mattifying and it's also not shimmery, so that's good. But you know, my under eyes are not looking like amazing. They are on camera, but in person they are a little bit on the drier side. I'm gonna let it sit and see what happens. The next product that I have to try with you guys is actually a bronzer. So I did get some PR from Benefit and here we have the Hoola Glow. I've actually already used it. Uh, the day that I got home before I had to fly back out, I grabbed this because I wanted to use it. This is what it looks like. I know that Benefit has just reproduced the Hoola bronzer so much. I know that. I will say though, one of my favorite bronzers of all time is actually the Hoola Caramel. I do love that they came out with more shades of the Hoola bronzer. I wish it would have came out with the Hoola Glow in the shades that they already have. I'm gonna quickly put on this bronzer. Um, I've been using this more as a bronzer topper. You could totally use this as a bronzer. For me, I'm way too dark to be using this for the whole thing. So I'm gonna use the Caramel, which is actually a matte bronzer, and then I'm gonna use the other one on top as a little bronzer topper. I'm gonna be using, again, BK Rushes. I've been loving them. All right, so now that we're bronzed up, I do think that it might look a little bit luminous. That's because of the foundation, not the bronzer. The bronzer is a matte bronzer. And then I'm gonna grab the Hoola Glow and just put it on top. And now it's gonna be super glowy. I actually really like this, even though the shade I wish it would be darker. I still like it because it gives me that overall like glow without making it like look ashy. I just said look. Without making it look ashy. So honestly, you don't even need highlighter. So that's something that I love. You guys know I don't love putting a bunch of highlighter on anymore. So I've been using this and it's kind of giving me everything that I want. So this is how it looks. You can see the face look nice and radiant. Obviously, if you do have deeper skin tone, you might not be able to use this, but if you do love the Hula bronzer and you want something more radiant, I do think that this is really nice to put along with it. Okay, now we have to use that cream blush. I totally forgot that it was cream, but I say let's just try it, and if something goes wrong, it'll be my fault. Uh, Pixie Beauty recently came out with On The Glow blush. 
They did send me three shades. If you guys follow me on Instagram, how cute was that packaging? The PR packaging was so cute. So they do have a berry one, which is what I'm gonna use because I love a berry tone. They also have a pinky tone that I think it's gonna be a little bit too light for me. And they do have an orangey tone. I'm gonna go ahead and use the berry tone. Um, this one's in the shade Ruby. It says it's a hydrating solid for a cheek tint and you can also use it on the lips. Here is a little bit of a close-up. It looks like a literal deodorant. I'll put some on my lips, why not? Ew, it's actually really pretty. Hopefully it goes well. I know it's a hydrating stick. Like I said, if the powder or foundation starts coming up, we'll know why, but let's just try it out. I think this would be better on like bare skin for like a natural moment. It is going on really pretty but it's definitely like a hydrating blush and I prefer something a little bit less hydrating when I do have a full face of makeup. But it's actually going on really nice. It's giving me some dew. Thing is, is when I use blushes like this, I definitely wanna set them with a powder, but this looks really pretty. I actually really like that. I think it looks really pretty. I will set it with a powder just to make sure. By the way, I sometimes I get comments of like why I'm looking this way. My monitor's right there and sometimes I go out of focus, so I just wanna make sure I'm always in focus. So if I'm looking that way, that's why. This looks really pretty and it didn't mess up my foundation, so I give that a thumbs up. It's actually really cute. I don't love how big the packaging is, but you do get a lot of product, so that's pretty cool. You get 19 grams, so I give this a thumbs up. Even though I am gonna set it with another blush, I do think it looks really, really pretty. We do have a couple products left to try out. You know what, before I finish off the eyes, I'm quickly going to use something else from the Soph X Revolution collaboration. Where are my scissors and it's a highlighter palette she did come out with i believe three shades of it so it, it is nice for like different um skin tones this is what it looks like and it is called the cookies and cream highlighter palette so this shade right here is more creamy and this one's more dry but more blinding um okay they look really pretty if you know anything about makeup revolution is that they do their highlights real real blinding so if you're into that you're probably gonna like this um i think i'm gonna go in with like the creamier side and lightly oh god lightly let me put the rest over here put it on the cheeks obviously these are very blinding just because i don't wear highlights like this anymore doesn't mean you shouldn't Everyone should do makeup how they want. It's definitely a nice shade for medium skin tones. It's just, you know, too blinding for me, but the form is actually really pretty. As you can see, like if you're into this look, it actually looks really stunning. And with my finger, just a little bit on the nose. Now this highlight is gonna last you literally forever. And it actually looks really pretty. I'm obviously a glazed donut, but a very smooth and blurred and blended glazed donuts so you know that looks really pretty i know that soph actually loves wearing highlights like this so you know what for what i tried from her collection i give it a thumbs up i think that they're high quality products i actually think i told you guys wrong i believe this is ten dollars and the eyeshadow palette is 15 but i may be wrong so i will link everything down below per usual if you guys do want to purchase but yes if you want a really pretty color story for the eyes and blinding blinding highlighters that will last you forever on the face then definitely check out her collection i'm quickly going to finish off the lower lash line so that we can move on to finish off the face. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, I finished off the lower lash line. I honestly just mix all the colors down at the bottom and I really, really love the way this purple highlight looks. I just love the colors that she picked. At first I was looking at it and I was like, huh, okay. Once I actually start working with them, they actually look really pretty. Like this purple goes perfectly with all these shades. 
Look how pretty that looks. I love that. And it like opened up my eyes beautifully. I don't have any new lip products. Um, I only was able to get my hands on the setting spray from the Wet n Wild and Spongebob collection. The reason why I did that is because I'm sure if you guys watch my channel a lot, you guys know that I love the Bretman Rock Jungle Rock setting spray. It looks exactly like this. So I figured if this is similar, then it would be a good way to replace it because I think the other one is not sold anymore. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's more of a luminous spray and it does have all that, I don't want to say shimmer, but all the reflect in it. Um, I think the only difference is that the Jungle Rock one has more of a golden reflex. This is definitely like a pinky one. This is just called the BFF Setting Spray and it says it is a hydrating, brightening, priming mist. Oh. Oh, it's a primer mist? It's a 3-in-1 primer that preps, hydrates, and brightens with illumination. Oh my god, it's a primer. It's a primer! Really? It's not like a primer and setter? We're gonna use it anyways. You know, some of these products are also good as like setting sprays. And if it goes wrong, it's my fault. Ooh. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like actual perfume, not like crazy fragrance, but like actual nice perfume, but not like overkill. And you know what? Even though it's a primer, my skin is looking really, really pretty. It looks good. Obviously, I don't think it's going to make my makeup last long, but it definitely added luminosity and it's making all the powders kind of blend together. So that looks absolutely stunning. I'm going to put a lip on real quick and then I will tell you guys what my favorite products were of this video. Anybody listening to Olivia Rodrigo on repeat? Okay, so... I like the way I look. By the way, sometimes I've gotten comments that people are like, oh, you're so conceited. No, I like, what I mean was like, I like the makeup. This Rare Beauty Foundation, it actually looks really pretty. The only thing it's giving me issues is on the nose, um, but it looks really nice overall. And I will say, for someone that doesn't love the highlighted look anymore, the highlight looks pretty good. So some of the favorite products that I tried were definitely the Rare Beauty Primer. This actually not only felt amazing on the skin, but it also created a really beautiful base and really did diffuse the pores, so love that. Um, I was actually pleasantly surprised by the Pixi Beauty Blush Stick. Um, not only did it look really pretty, but it looked really pretty over powder, which is crazy, but this is the way it looks, and I really think this also would just look stunning over your bare skin, so love that. I know I didn't use it correctly, but this actually made my skin look really beautiful, so I can't wait to try it out as a primer. But don't be afraid to use it as a setting spray because it looks stunning. I was pleasantly surprised by this eyeshadow palette. I will keep this close by because I really do like this. This is such like a pretty colorful yet wearable look for the summer and I love the inner corner highlights. So yeah, those were definitely the standout products. And then really quickly before I forget, that e.l.f. jelly mask was actually really, really nice. I'm gonna keep that by my bedside because my lips are very hydrated but they never felt like greasy or anything like that. It was a really nice consistency. Overall, I'm very happy with the video. Um, there's nothing that like I hated and also if you want to try the Hula Glow, I think you're really gonna love it. So yeah, um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hope that you guys are happy that I am back. I will have more content out for you guys very, very soon. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so, so much. Comment down below what you guys want to see next and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You can't even tell how cute my hair looks. Look, it's curled all the way down. I just, I felt like I had to show you guys because in the videos you can never see anything.